Here's an awesome question by Tammy. And this one's great, especially when you're working with men or women that wear their hair short around the ear. What is the best way to cut around an ear and not make it look choppy? This is by Tammy. Tammy, thanks for the question, because here's what I used to do. When I would cut around the ear, I would take all of this hair and I'd hold it in my hand and cut. And I found when I did that, because I elevated, it got really choppy. Not only that, Tammy, I found out that I took it way too short. Here's a cool little trick for you, okay? I love working with a shorter shear. As a matter of fact, this swivel is awesome in regards to this technique. Watch what I'm simply gonna do. I'll step to this side so you're able to see, okay? You're gonna use the wide teeth of the comb, okay? I'm working with a black comb on blonde hair just so I can see where I'm at and what I'm doing, okay? Now I'm gonna come through and I'm not actually gonna cut, I'm just using her as a demo in terms of the mechanics, so let's make sure you understand that. But here's what happens. When you come through and you try to do this and you try to just carve it out, the hair moves and it moves away from you. So that has a natural common tendency to make it choppy, especially on the edge, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna capture it, and then you wanna work with a deep part of this shear. Watch what we're gonna do. All I do is just take it, I fold the ear. So can you see how I'm folding the ear? Once I fold the ear, the hair is captured inside. The shear goes in, and now I'm gonna do, all I do is place the shear in, and I tap, 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 and rotate the shear. Can you see that by rotating the comb and the shear together, you're able to carve out around the ear without taking this so short? It gives you a nice, clean, curved line around the ear. Watch the action. I'll do it in slow motion. See how the white teeth catch that? Then you're gonna come in with your shear. Remember, I'm not gonna cut, I'm just demonstrating the mechanics. And then I would tap, 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 and work. So I tap, 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 and rotate the shear right around the ear area. What I love about that is it keeps the hair out of the way. Here's another way, great way to do this. You'd be so kind, Angela, bring your right hand out and fold your ear down. Okay, good. So you have the client get involved. Now can you see they folded the ear. Now you can come in still using the comb and then you come in with the shear and you're just going through. This way, if you cut the ear, it's the client's fault. Just kidding. So the idea, really set, Angela. Once again, recap that. Work with the comb. Let that capture the hair around the ear and stop going in freehand and stop putting it in your hand. You're gonna love this in regards to how it works. It's a great little tip on men when you're cutting around the ear or working with ladies that wear their hair short around the ear. Thanks so much for the question. Hope that helps you out, and I'll see you soon.